Sometimes it's nice in After Effects to have a bit more fluidity to movement. Um, so to give you an example, uh, if we just draw a shape, so I'm basically selecting the circle. I'm going to hold the shift key to get it symmetrical. Um, and then I'm going to click on that layer, press P so I get the position. Um, I'm going to move it outside the frame and click the little stopwatch. Just move that to the beginnings. That's where it's going to start. And then I'm going to move it into the center of the frame like so. And as you see, because I've got the stopwatch clicked, it's automatically added to keyframe. So when I play that, it scoots in. Now that's a little bit slow for this effect. So what we're going to do is speed it up a bit by moving this keyframe over. And so now it comes in pretty fast. But if we want to make it look like it's a object that sort of has a certain degree of autonomy or floats around a bit, then a nice way to do this is uh, thankfully quite simple, but you use scripts. And there's a few scripts that have been floating around uh, for quite a while with stuff like this. The script that I find works really well and is easy to customize is one that's done the rounds quite a lot. If you ever look in this notepad, here's the script and I'll put it in the description so that you can just copy and paste it. So basically you've got here the amplitude or the width of the movement. So this is how much it'll zigzag about. And then of course the speed um, and then how long that whole movement goes on for. Um, you can make it almost indefinite if you wanted to. And then all here is the actual script that allows this position to move around in a predictable fashion. So I guess the only question to answer is what do you do with this script? Well, first of all, select it and then copy it. Come to your After Effects composition and you've got the little stopwatch here. And what you want to do is hold down the Alt key and click the stopwatch. And you'll find you've now got a panel open up which allows you to put a script here. So just make sure you've selected everything that's there at the moment. And then what I tend to do is just use your Control V and paste the script in and then click off it. And then have a look and see how this works. So now you can see this nice fluid sort of uh, bounce type movement. So let's muck around with these parameters. Let's put this frequency up to 10 and have a look again. And as you can see, it's a real judder. Um, always remember you control Z to go back. Um, amplitude, we can make this much wider. So let's put it up to 0.5 and have another look. So you can see now that this is really going a long way. Now if you want to see the different effects easily, control select your layer, control D to duplicate it. And then you could try different ones. Um, so let's go in here and let's put the amplitude to 0.1 again on this one and speed of and then what we can do is we can just move the anchor point on this so that the two don't collide so you can see them distinctly and that won't change the overall position because we've not pasted this script onto the anchor point we've pasted it onto position so let's see what happens and there you go you can see the two comparable movements right so this script also works on um, scale so if we draw a circle again, hold down the shift key, try and get the origin to the middle. If the origin does move, uh, remember you've got this tool up here and then you can move the origin point around, but we want it in the middle on this particular animation. So what we're going to do is press S for scale. And there's scale. We're going to click there, move that along a little bit, that's your hundred percent. And then it, we're at the beginning. So we want to, do it down to zero. If we press that, that's it. It's a very simple um, animation. If we wanted it a bit bigger, we could actually go to maybe 150%. Let's do that. Okay. So, boom, that's it. Now, again, hold your Alt key, click. The transform current settings are highlighted. So, all you have to do is press Control V. And here you go. And now, when we play that, that's what you get. Something to think about with After Effects is maybe have a notepad file or something um, such as 
this um, you want notepad by the way because it carries no formatting with it so it's just an ascii editor if you use word or anything like that it can often unwittingly paste in all sorts of formatting stuff that then screws the script up so you need just a basic ascii editor like notepad it's perfect um, maybe develop your own notepad file with all your different uh, scripts sort of segmented so that you can very easily just grab them copy and paste them and then put them on an object um, and then uh, off you go and you've got all these different automatic animations that happen regardless um, which allows you then to just concentrate on keyframe keyframing your um, animation and sort of creating the composition rather than doing ridiculous uh, machinations with sort of moving stuff so I hope that was helpful um, again I can't take credit for any of this kind of stuff um, it's been on the internet for as long as I've been around um, it's just a lot of people don't realize it